in London. I got to my hostel probably about 30 minutes ago. It is so nice. I got another mixed dorm. I didn't know that. I thought I got a female only dorm, but I guess not. I don't mind because it has an ensuite bathroom. So I don't have to dry off inside of the shower anymore, which is lovely. I'm going to meet my friend Jess who lives in London. We've been online friends. She doesn't live in London, but she, her friend lives in London. So she's coming down so we can hang out over the weekend. I am saying literal like, UK slang now because it's cooler saying rubbish instead of trash. That's simply just cooler, but I'm about to get ready to go We're gonna pop out to dinner pop out. That's another thing pop out to dinner and then go to some pubs Okay, let's go My bed Don't know Don't know Don't know That's the toilet and then the shower and sink. That's me And then this lovely view Oh, perfect Perfect. Hello, London. I popped out to grab some breakfast at a place called White Mulberries. It was delicious. And then I just decided to go for a walk. I'm going to some vintage shops in, I think it's called Brick Lane Market. I don't know. But I'm walking to the bus stop now. And on my walk, I just stumbled across the Tower Bridge. But it is the most beautiful day here. It's like 55 degrees out right now. I'm not wearing a coat. But yesterday was so fun. We went to dinner, we popped out to some markets. I tried a scotch egg for the first time, so good. Um, and then we went to a bar or a pub, I don't know the difference, called the Rose Pub. It was amazing. I'm in like the kitchen chill area of this current hostel. I really like this hostel. It reminds me of Jacobson in Dublin. Similar vibes. Yesterday, after breakfast, I got a nice table, of course. It was delicious. I went for a walk and I ended up walking past the Tower Bridge and I posted on my Instagram story like a picture of the bridge and I tagged the London Bridge and people were like, babe, that's not the London Bridge. And I said, of course it isn't. And then I got a bus and I went to a place called Brick Lane Market and it is my favorite place ever. It's just a whole bunch of vintage shops and there was also a market like set up in the street with just a bunch of vendors. So I ended up getting this sweatshirt and a cool denim jacket and then Jess ended up meeting me there and then we walked around we went to another place called Broadway Market it was just like a street of vendors and we got some food and went into like a bookstore and then we went to this place called the Museum of Curiosities and it was the most insane place I've ever been in my life it was this man who just like collected strange things and he had like poop of Amy Winehouse I'm like how did you get that Anyway, I need to be drinking more water. I've not been good with it, so here we go. I hate drinking water when I'm traveling because then I have to pee all the time and when I'm out, it's so hard to find toilets, especially in like Europe and the UK because you have to pee for, you have to pay for toilets. Anyway, loving London so far. I feel like my plan was to stay in Europe and just do this trip until April 1st, but I feel like I'm gonna stay longer. I'm having so much fun on this trip. I'm not minding hostels at all. I was honestly really worried, but it's like really shown me that I can live low maintenance. I don't know, it's been really, I've learned so much about myself without even trying and I'm really happy. Staying in hostels is a really cool experience. Like it's really, really, really valuable um, and really cool. And it just shows you like, it teaches you not to place your happiness in things, you know? I put so much of my happiness in like my space for a really long time, but like I've learned I can have space anywhere. My space can be anywhere, which has been really cool to learn. It's been really cool. the Big Ben. We're in London, babe. I feel like I have to keep reminding myself that this is actually real life and I'm not dreaming. 
because I've wanted to come to London my entire life and it hasn't felt real the entire time I've been here because I feel like when you're in a city you sort of feel like you're in any city until you see like the landmarks of the city so the fact that I'm looking at the London Eye and Big Ben is behind me is sort of like oh shit I'm really in London what? what? I'm happy to be alive I'm grateful to be here I have no words could cry maybe will afternoon tea at the I can't remember the name of that place but it was really good I'm like three minutes away from my hostel now I think it's like 4 p.m. and I'm just gonna relax the rest of the evening because I'm so tired <laughs> 